continue with the topic of any the hot, hot topics of the last years. Joining us here today is Dr. Matthias Schlawinski, who is an entrepreneur, technology strategist, and expert in research, development, and innovation. Inspired by science methodology, AI, and cognitive science materials, works as Chief Innovation Officer at DAC. His topic today is artificial intelligence, human experience, and the problem of disintegrated knowledge. Please welcome with me, Matthias. As, uh, for example, a 
artificial intelligence system that, is, that has been trained on uh, vast volumes of texts, books, newspapers, uh, and actually talk a lot, speak the system, but in some cases uh, the system will not be as clever as human would be if only the human had a chance to uh, read the same or the same form of uh, uh, text, books, uh, newspapers, and so on and so on. So, so to acquire that information, that uh, volume, uh, volume of uh, information. So, just a few uh, an example. Mm. That is the, the, the transcript, the part parameter of the transcript of uh, conversation of a uh, AI engineer at the room with the uh, Lambda. Uh, then the uh, artificial intelligence uh, system used to process natural language and generate meaningful text. Uh, that's, that's for language model biology, uh, biological applications, so for biological applications. So the discussion is uh, happening, and the uh, Lake Lemon uh, is asking, uh, at some point in the course of the, of the discussion, or the, of the conversation, is asking the AI, mm -hmm. uh, whether uh, he had a chance to read, yeah, uh, less than the level from uh, Victor Ego. Okay, and it turns out that the system has uh, read the book, read the novel, and really enjoyed it. And the, our uh, engineer uh, asks uh, then the question what was the, well, the most interesting or the most, uh, the, the favorite. Uh, in the and of course, then the uh, system goes and points to justice, injustice, compassion, sacrifice, etc. etc. It's okay. Well, actually, something that you can point in any handbook or a guide to the French literature, for example. But then it turns out at some point that, uh, in the course of the, of the, uh, of the conversation, that, and this is very, very interesting, uh, at least from my point of view, that this example a Latin uh, and experiencing uh, suffering and pain the, as she works in the, uh, as she works in the uh, factory, uh, that this injustice of her fate or of her uh, adventure, in the sense of the narrative we really experience here, is that the her suffering was unjust, was not justified. Okay. Well, it was just an example of something uh, we called we would call injustice. If I were the AI engineer here, my question in the next very next line would be, okay, I, I, I got to a point, uh, and please now tell me what is the example of a just suffering. And believe me, I think that the conversation could have unfolded uh, in that quite, quite different uh, direction. But anyway, the AI comes with a good uh, answer to the question that the uh, Blake has asked. So, uh, yeah, this is what we might write, really. This is a very good uh, interpretation and uh, explanation of what is happening in the novel. But now, I would like to throw up it, the, uh, the AI, and what if, what if, Instead of uh, this AI engineer Blake, yeah, we had uh, someone who has logged in into the chat uh, with the name, under the name, Javan. And um, I believe that many of you have uh, read the, the, the novel. So Javan is the, the, bad, the bad person, the bad character, uh, a, a policeman who is very legalistic, I'd say, uh, and uh, well, represents the the way of thinking that actually in, in, uh, eventually uh, has made the, our uh, protagonist the Latin uh, I, at some point in the, the middle of the uh, okay, spoiler, but uh, it still doesn't make sense. If I was, uh, if I could expect something, if the uh, AI engineer has logged in into the system and has started the conversation chatting with the AI, with the AI I would expect that having logged in under the name Javert should at this, at this point 
in the conversation should have some dramatic consequences, some, some obvious uh, emotion or some kind of uh, being proposed against uh, the Blake's or Javert's uh, statements because something should ring a bell. And the question right now is whether the way the AI models the generated uh, generated statistical statistics based models used to produce meaningful text and understandable text are actually aware of the of what the model is saying so that my understanding and my being so uh, sensitive or somehow uh, so sensitive when it comes to this particular name, Javert, uh, it should be something that we experience as a well, groundbreaking and that like a turning point in the conversation. Myself, I, I believe uh, it will not happen, of course. This is my nice, uh, speculation, but this is something I think we will not, uh, we will not experience. Uh, we will not experience. Uh, why? Uh, we have uh, very, very, very different uh, re references to different references to uh, the psychology. So I've seen a British Nietzsche in a few pictures over there. We, we have that one. Uh, and so on and so on. But if I uh, could refer to uh, a few, oh, well, say two names, uh, two names, it would be uh, Edmund Husserl and Martin Heidegger. So the first one, the, uh, Husserl said that uh, the essence of the, our natural stance, our natural attitude towards the world, in the average and high school, is something, is something that can be uh, yeah, summed up in a sentence that we take what we perceive as something real. If I see a building over there from the front of the building over there, I believe that there is a third and fourth and well, it's complete. Yeah, it's there. Uh, and it doesn't disappear when I well, simply see to look in the direction of the building. So we believe that there is a real world and we take this world seriously. So that was all the reality, right? And the second thing was about desire, right? About the reality and desire and how they uh, both uh, are brought together. And the second thing, the desire, I'm using the, uh, the term preference, uh, because, well, the French, they might think, uh, reference and preference, because the preference is what is actually the a sense of the seriousness of reality. The world is, in some way, trying to oppose our activities. We, we feel that it is something against us. Therefore, when we struggle to uh, well, implement our goals, objectives, values, okay, you name it, yeah, utility functions, whatever, desire, for example, when we have certain preferences, when we are trying to meet the preferences, when we are trying to make choices that maximize the condition of our preferences, this is when we are actually experiencing the world as something, uh, as, as something uh, real. It cannot be real if we have no preferences, if we have no desire. So the, uh, the sense of reality is intertwined uh, with the, uh, our ability, the, our ability to uh, desire something, to have values, to have uh, objectives uh, and goals. So now, let's think about of uh, this integrated uh, knowledge again. Let's think about the uh, let's think about the uh, uh, about the uh, problem. Okay, that is that would be good. Uh, in our company at DC Digital, we've been doing a lot and really a lot uh, that has that has to do with uh, transportation. And for example, trying to reduce the well overall distance of the of uh, feet and travels. Uh, just complete a transportation plan, pick up some goods, deliver some goods, and so on and so on. So let's think that uh, our AI system, in our case, and our one, is trying to approach uh, the problem in a way that we know we have a certain few tracks, we have uh, some pick up 
that has to be uh, uh, addressed if of some delivery is to be made. And our goal is to find the shortest route that will simply allow us to uh, yeah, visit all the points of interest, deliver all the goods and pick up what has to be picked up. When we uh, try to solve the problem with the, with the system with the help of AI, we are actually already uh, getting the task fixed in a way. Because we say, all right, you have that many trucks, you have that many points to visit, that now this AI. Do the best you can to make the route the, the, the shortest, well, uh, as short as possible. Uh, all right. And the question is, why are we doing that? Because well, we are doing that uh, because we want to reduce the number of kilometers here, yeah, and which translates into a savings in fuel, which translates uh, into savings in money, and so on and so on. But someone could also ask, uh, okay, but if it is about money and not about kilometers, so I can found another solution. Uh, instead of doing this truck, the, the planning the transportation process, so that we use the first this point, the second point, the third point, and so on, so on. We could, for example, buy another truck and uh, in a long term reduce the number of uh, reduce the number of uh, what well, reduce the uh, not the amount of money that we're spending on transportation. We're we'll probably making a few kilometers more, but still, uh, at the end of the day, the process will be executed in a way that is cheaper. The thing is that uh, narrow AI is a system that will be stuck with the small sobriety that we have in place. So we will be trying to solve the problem with that man, with uh, this exactly this number of uh, vehicles we have uh, in our uh, uh, trying to yeah, reduce the, uh, the number of kilometers that we travel. But the general AI is uh, the same a little, uh, little bit more audacious or ambitious because this uh, AI will, will be able to ask us a question all right, it's not about kilometers, but about money. I have a solution, but we need to redefine the problem. We need to change the problem in general. It will be not about reducing kilometers, it will be about uh, well, uh, saving money. But we need to change our perspective. We need to think about the problem as it is something, as it is something uh, that we uh, will approach, we will approach the uh, fight All right, so some, some other example. Think about uh, AI that is uh, very well tested to be uh, with the common sense knowledge. And the AI will be asked, okay, let's try to uh, use the common sense knowledge we have. And for example, Provide a solution for my problem, which is I want to uh, boil water, but I cannot, uh, uh, yeah, I, can, I have no such an energy source that will be simply uh, in the position where I passively to reach the level of 100 uh, degrees Celsius, uh, well, where when we expect the water to boil. So, the system is trying to find a solution to that, and obviously, it cannot do that yet because this particular situation here, right now, using common sense knowledge, we need 100 uh, and, uh, degree Celsius uh, to have the result that we want. But, if the AI system would be in a position to change the knowledge, to change the perspective, and I guess find another way, for example, do something about the equation, yeah. Uh, of, the, uh, of the environment, so that we can obtain such a uh, uh, configuration in which the pressure will be at a certain level that will make the water flow in, for example, 30 degrees Celsius, yeah, which is easily possible. But again, we can observe, we can transform the problem radically. We can transform the problem so that we cannot be expressed in a way it was expressed at the very, very beginning. So the perspective changes and we are transforming the problem. In a totally, totally different manner. And now, the question what is that helps us to bring the problem of uh, problem transformation, or the issue of problem transformation, 
the way that we feel that these two problems are actually equivalent. The someone has no idea about the uh, physics, thermodynamics, and so on, is now, Trump is now talking about the same problem as the physicist who spoke right now about the pressure, the temperature, and the well, uh, mutual relation of these two, of these two factors. And my well, statements or uh, statement or maybe a conclusion would be that in the case of the radical problem transformations, when you are creating different pieces of knowledge, different disciplines in one place, so that you can transform the problem and still talk about the same situation, talk about the same nature of the problem, essentially about the same problem, is totally is totally, uh, well, yeah, two different, different approaches to the same problem is impossible without, the, without something that is essential to human experience to the feeling that we are actually solving, well, meeting the same thing or to be the same side or actually, uh, well, to be uh, acting towards the realization and completion of the same, uh, meeting the same preferences. Uh, I would say that sometimes, uh, to give uh, maybe a uh, very figurative uh, uh, conclusion to the discussion, in many situations, uh, let's say social uh, discussions or, or uh, interactions, I'm sure any, uh, everyone has, at least at some point uh, in our lives, met uh, someone who is actually taking part in the discussion. Well, not to be complete, but really disagreeing, providing reasons and, and facts and information and so on. But at some point in time, the discussion gets a little bit faster, for example, and the, the, the person is in a second out of the picture. Yeah. So we cannot grasp different approach to the same topic, to the same reference, to the same things that we are trying to address. Why? Because there is a problem with the redefinition of the approach and the redefinition of the problem. And this is something that I believe that the AI uh, would have to uh, address, would have to uh, understand in order to be general, uh, in order to be a general artificial intelligence. So, try to, uh, it must be in a position or the capacity to meet, uh, to identify the problem as it is transformed so that, uh, so that we can provide. More abstract, more specific, more more uh, uh, the theoretical solutions, uh, and that would be not possible if the uh, agent doing that has no preferences, because the preferences or the intuitive functions or desires that we are uh, that we uh, fulfill is the fundamental or different approaches to the same problem. Physics, common sense knowledge, meet not in an abstract translation from one theory to another, but exactly at the point of the realistic and uh, goal oriented activity of human. And this is why the human experience has to be well, studied and implemented so that the general intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence, will be.